Do you love television? Here we are. Here we are. Get your fix with exclusive behind the scenes access to some of your favorite TV shows like you have never seen them before. Exclusive access you're not going to see anywhere else. We get to sort of show you what goes on behind the scenes of your favorite shows. On today's show, we get an exclusive guided tour of the set of ABC Family's Twisted. We go inside the closet of those stylish Pretty Little Liars. We get a private baking tutorial from the cake boss himself. And we head to the beach for the taping of Matthew Perry's comedy, Go On. From our TV obsession to the comfort of your couch, this is Shh, Quiet on the Set. Twisted. You're twisted. Twisted. <laughs> I'm a little, little twisted. I'm a little twisted. Are you a little twisted? You have to ask. Good point. Twisted. The show twisted. twisted. Yes. Of course, we went to the set. We did. Of course, we did. Um, Avon Jogia. Who you really like. I really like him. I interviewed him once on the Lone Ranger um, red carpet. People told you you look like Johnny Depp? I've, I've heard this. I've heard this around. And are you aware this, this is a compliment? I, I, I take it as such. Another one of my predictions for Big Star. He's already on his way. Well, he is. I mean, Twisted's a big show. He got his start. Do you know where he got his start? Victorious. Yes. Yes. We paid a visit to the set of ABC Family's Twisted, where leading man Avin Jogia gave us an exclusive tour. Hi, guys. I'm Avin Jogia, and you're on the set of Twisted. And we're rolling right now. And so I'm going to be really quiet. But I'm going to show you the school. Come check it out. OK, so let's move it steadily along. This acts as every classroom in the show, so it's the chemistry. Um, the grief study. It's like it counts as every... Uh, see, when they say cut, I can start talking loudly again. So it's just something you get used to doing. <laughs> what does it all mean, you know? I feel like I'm in goodwill hunting right now. In this segment, when we went to the set, I even attempted to make tea. Did he? I was impressed. Okay, well, you would He be... might look like Johnny Depp, but he is definitely not a tea maker. So, what I like to do when I'm on set, past the time, is I like to, uh, I like to make some tea. And so, I'm gonna teach you Americans how to make English tea. So, check it out. This is never gonna make the cut. <laughs> this is never gonna make the cut. I wasn't impressed with his tea making. You were. I mean, I wouldn't go up against anybody English when it comes to making tea. No, we take our tea seriously. You do. During our tour, we ran into a couple other familiar faces. Do you see guy. these guys? What's up? See who you bump into on this, this you guys see? And I'm instantly mic'd. Look at that. Look at that. That is fantastic. Yeah. Talk to it. Talk about it. Hello. Young Hollywood. We're young and we're in Hollywood. We are. It sounds so, a lot Abin, creepier. who's your uh, who's your favorite recurring character on this show, oh, huh? Oh, this is. Yeah. Oh man. Because you're my favorite series regular. Same. Evan brought us to the sets that his character is very familiar with. This is the Green Grove Police Department. Which, funnily enough, this will be fun for you guys. Come up these stairs. Oh, it's the police department. Check it out. You can see over here. And it also happens to be. The Masterson house, also sometimes. See, like now we're in the Masterson house. Take it out. Kyle Masterson is so obsessed with work. He works from, he can work from home, is what I'm saying. This is where we shoot uh, all the police stuff. Uh, but there's some pretty funny names Pat uh, Stimson. Computers don't work. This is rather funny to me. Something tells me it's not the law. I get it. It doesn't specify it's against the law. I should probably specify that. Drunk driving, it's the law. Ah, I think it's, actually it's not the law. You shouldn't do that. Eventually, we ended up at the show's favorite local hangout, where one of his leading ladies just happened to be waiting for us. Oh, oh, look who it is. It's, it's Kyle, it's, this is Kylie Bunbury. This wasn't staged at all. She just happened to be in here. What's going on here? Finale episode, we're shooting the finale episode. Finale. And finale, oh yeah. It's finale. It's finale. <laughs> okay, yeah, we're shooting the fin finale episode. That's what's Now it's so weird, wrong. it's finale. Grizzlies, they uh, won regionals. Go, we need to do the go, 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 go. <laughs> go, 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 go. <laughs> All day, every day, all, all night. night. All right. Dude. This is what's. So look at. So what is today? Today's Monday. On Mondays we have bacon, lettuce, and tomato. Not on any bread. Not any bread. Just, just in a place. The bacon and the lettuce and the tomato. I gotta get my nails done. Wow. This is atrocious. You went through. You cycle through a lot of things I just do. then. A lot of things go through the mind. 
Soon, other stars made their way to Johnny Cakes to tell us a little bit more about the on-set dynamic. This is like the local hangout, Johnny Cakes, and you were telling me a little fun fact about it. Yeah, Johnny Cakes is actually a real restaurant in Nyack in New York where we shot the pilot. Now, I see that you guys are always like laughing and joking a lot on set. Who is yeah. the funniest? Sam Robards is the funniest. Okay. Eat like by a, like a clear okay. mile. Ashton makes me laugh the most, and he plays Rico. Sam's really funny though too. Avin's really funny. Those so so all three guys. Yeah, all, all the guys. got it. <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah. The girls aren't funny at all. Sam is actually probably the funniest. Uh -huh. He has like a very old kind of like vaudeville-ish, over the top kind of humor. So the cast uh, has informed me that you are the comedian on set. I have no idea what they're talking about. So okay, next to you, who is the funniest on set? I don't know. I think Gavin's pretty funny actually. After a long day on set and talking to us, Avin got just a tad reckless. So we <laughs> get out of here with that answer. You know what I was gonna say? <laughs> I'm holding the microphone. All right, hold this. Just hold it. Okay. He's going rogue. <sighs> I've never been able to do this. I did this Avin last Jogia. time. Avin Jogia. Avin Jogia. Quick rapid fire questions. Right. Okay. Got it. Blondes or brunettes? Uh, brunettes. You're good at this. <laughs> I'm interviewing you. You're not that interesting. Get out of here. <laughs> you can keep that because I got my own mic. Keep it. I'll, you know, we'll see you later. You heard it here first. We want to hear from you. Hashtag quiet on the set. And tell us what character from Twisted would you like to go to Johnny Cakes with? Anyone. Coming up, we get a peek into the closet of the prettiest liars on TV. A lot of stuff has happened in here. It's been pretty crazy. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, Oliver, let's talk about Pretty Little Liars. It's obviously this dark, mysterious show. It is. But they're a bunch of young, beautiful people, and the set's really fun. With phenomenal wardrobes. With phenomenal wardrobes, it's like yes. Mandy one... Line is the stylist on there, who I've known for years. Mandy is amazing. Again, Oliver is a plethora of trivia. You can't be a pretty little liar without a killer wardrobe. And we got an exclusive peek inside the closet from the costume designer herself. So your job here, you have to dress four of the most stylish high schoolers on TV right now. How do you get inspired every week? I know what's in my head. Stylists know they know what's on the runway, they know what they should be wearing. I just know what's in my head. And when I got this job, I was like, okay, I know it needs to be hip and trendy, but I want to take it to another level. Mandy broke down for us the personal styles of each pretty little liar. Aria was one of the first characters introduced to me, and she just came from inside. It's a mini me. She's edgy, but yet vintage. I always say she's got like schizophrenia fashion. So she's got an option of her studded pants or her leather, of course. And you know, just a casual silk skull blouse. And here's her bag of accessories. She's got, this is for her hair, this is for her ears. There's this like um, lightning bolt, diamond lightning bolt necklace. Let's see how many earrings Aria has. Oh, I don't know. One, I mean, this is all <laughs> bracelets. <laughs> this is just rings. This is just necklaces. So. She's got the most wild style. Okay. Yeah, so Hannah, who's played by Ashley Benson, she's more structured, she's a little sophisticated. I always call her like the in vogue girl. So when you're flipping pages, it's kind of like, yes, what's affordable, but she tries to get the best of the best. A great blue BCBG blazer, um, this great Zara top. But what we did is, hold that thought. At the very bottom was this great little collar that I put this with. So a detachable collar necklace, with the matching belt, with a great little blade, like everything ties in. She always matches everything. It's so like Emily. Emily's so good, um, played by Shay Mitchell. This is actually kind of one of my favorite outfits of the season. Super in is that denim on leather. And I love that like she's gutsy enough, Shay in real life. She lets me put a flannel on her without looking like she doesn't get too hard. She's so pretty. Troy and Belisario plays Spencer. And I have to admit, she's the character furthest from my own personal style, so she's taught me a lot. Troy and Ann Spencer, the character, has taught me a lot. It, it's, I really have to hone her in because she's classic. She comes from a super, super wealthy family. So I think these days it's like um, high-end vintage with a twist, a little preppy, a little Ralph Lauren. One of Spencer's key things is her belts. More um, clean classics. You know, browns, I don't do a lot of browns on Aria, I barely do browns on Hannah, but 
Spencer does a lot of browns. She does very clean earrings, simple. Shay Mitchell shared one perk of working on such a stylish show. And we gotta be honest, we're pretty jealous. I wanna ask, do you ever get to keep the clothes? Cause that's every girl's dream. Yes, it is. They are really big closets. Um, There are a couple pieces that I've been like, Mandy, are we gonna use this again? And she's like, no, take it. So she's uh, kind of cool when it comes to that. There's a couple pieces that I might have snagged. A day in the life of a pretty little liar gets started pretty early. Maybe a little too early for Ashley Benson. So you are like literally working all day today. I was just <laughs> you were just telling me you were here since 5 a.m. That's yes. insane. How do you feel about having to wake up so early it's coming to work? Awful. The thing is, it's like I usually have Starbucks before I come to work, and at five in the morning, they're not open. And if oh. they are, I don't want to get up like 10 minutes earlier to go get coffee. I'm so like. I'm out of it. I'm literally driving here like half asleep. <laughs> I go on the makeup trailer. I'm still asleep. Like, I don't say a word to anybody. It's so bad. Oh, but, no. um, yeah, I'm not a morning person. We know that the show keeps viewers on the edge of their seat, but find out how the stars react to the ever changing plot. It's absolutely ridiculous. I mean, with each episode, I can't wait to get them. I, you don't understand how excited I get, when like, get in script? my house when I get the script. So you have those moments when you're reading the script, like, I cannot believe this is about to happen. Yeah, I definitely have those moments where I just get so excited that I'll, like, you know, turn to Ashley or Lucy or whoever's beside me, and I'll be like, D can you believe it, Spencer? I do this, and that's so cool. <laughs> or you do that, that's so crazy. And they're like, yeah, I know, we read it. And I was like, <laughs> it's crazy. Lots of TV co-stars claim to be BFFs, but in this case, these girls talk the talk and walk the walk. And last weekend, I was just at Troyan's house who plays Spencer, and we had a movie night, and that's gonna continue to happen because she's introducing me to all these new films. <laughs> so it's great, and we love hanging out. I mean, it's such a great, cast and we have such good chemistry on set and off set so I'm very fortunate and we lucked out all of us. Best bit about Pretty Little Lies, did you know there's a connection to James Dean? Stop it now, yeah. you're just making this nope. up. Being really? serious. Yep. The high school in Pretty Little Lies was actually the jailhouse in Rebel Without Cause. I wonder if they feel the James Dean aura when they're shooting. Maybe James Dean spent his last days there. He had a good wardrobe. Speaking of wardrobes you guys, yes. you want to know Tweet us using the hashtag Quiet on the Set and let us know which character on Pretty Little Liars you guys think has the best wardrobe. After the break, we make our own blue velvet cake with the help of the cake boss. Are you ready to bake? I'm so ready to bake. All right, let's, let's do, do it. it. Cake boss. Yes. That's what I want to talk about because I love cakes. Do you? Yeah, I really genuinely See, love I cakes. I always think of guys as not being like sweets. Girls like sweets and they like cupcakes and like cakes. Wait, really? You're I really cake? love cakes, yeah. Really? Yeah, especially what's cupcakes. Your, what's your fave? Actually, and I'm not just saying this because of the show, Red Velvet Cupcakes. I They're love. the best. I There's love. just something yeah. about them. We traveled all the way to Hoboken, New Jersey so that we could get a personal baking lesson from Buddy Valestro, cake boss himself. So, Buddy, we are in the hub. You are in the hub. You're at our Lackawanna facility in Jersey City, New Jersey. We got lots of space, great equipment, every tool you can imagine, and we can make cakes as big as a car. Well, teach me what you know. Are you ready to bake? I'm so ready to bake. All right, let's, let's do it. it. Baking is easy. It's the decorating that sets Buddy and his bakery apart from the others. Let's grab our fondant, uh, which is like sugar Play-Doh. Okay. What? And then you just kind of like lift, <laughs> lift your hand underneath, right? Okay. Okay, and bring it over. Oh my goodness. Drop it right on top of your cake. Whoa! Good job! Now, I can't help but notice the color is in well, sync with... Well, look, we knew that Young Hollywood was coming, so, you know, we want to represent. Now that you put it on top, we have a little smoother, so grab your smoother. Smoother. And you're going to smooth out the top gently, gently. Now, you're going to conform the fondant to the cake. Oh, mine has a wrinkle. Uh, you got to get it out. Come on now. Hey, what are you doing? Oh. Be gentle with the fondant. Okay, look, no wrinkles anymore. No, well, you're good. There's a wrinkle on this side. We just won't go close on it. <laughs> so what we're going to do here is we're just going to kind of cut on the edge and just go around so that we trim off any extra fondant we have. So this is a pizza cutter. Yeah. Is there pizza easy. here too? Um, I can make you pizza. Okay, buddy, if you don't stop talking about food, you're gonna have to feed me. I'm gonna feed you. No, it's... actually, right now, I want you to feed you me. You want me to feed you right now? Whoever said baking was easy has not gone in this kitchen. Time for a pastry break. You wait till you taste it. You gotta taste it. Okay. I can't explain it until you taste it. Is this a bad time to tell you that I try and eat gluten-free? Um... <laughs> 
little bit of that. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Um, gym membership needed when coming oh, to visit. Oh, come on. <laughs> this is amazing. Heaven. How many cakes do you put out a day as I keep eating? Weekly, we probably put out three to 400 birthday cakes and 50 to 100 wedding and specialty cakes. All right, back to work. It's time to put the icing on the cake. So next thing we're gonna do is let's grab our young Hollywood sign each, and then we're just going to put it in the middle. Ready? Bada bing, bada boom. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go around and we're just gonna pipe a little border. That was hard work, but now it's time for some lobster tails. No, not those kind of lobster tails. We're gonna do this Italian style. Look at that, right? Look at that, look at that. Which half you want? That one. You got it. Okay, make sure you get the cream too, right like this. What do you do? Salute. Salute. Mmm. I had to pick my last dessert. This beer. Wait. Now there's some alcohol in there. A little Bailey's in there. Ooh. So delicious. Oh, what? Right? Yeah. It's the hardest Italian pastry to make, but the best one we make. Holy sh! <laughs> okay, we want to hear from you guys. So tweet us with the hashtag Quiet on the Set. We want to know what shape you would want your cake made in. Yes, that's an important question. Yes. Because you'll be eating a lot of cake in your life. Up next, bring your sunscreen and your A-game because we're headed to a special beachfront filming of Matthew Perry's Go On. If a girl no, I need to know. hits on me at uh, like a hot dog stand. Yes, is that okay with fine. you? That's fine. That works for yeah. you. Is there any place that doesn't work? Hamburger stand. Should we talk about yes. Go On? Let's do it. Yes. Can you do a Matthew Perry impression? No, you can though. I've seen yours. I think Similar. only Matthew Perry can do Matthew Perry. Okay. Do you know what I mean? He does it well. He's one of those celebrities that we talk, you know, we talk about like if people are just like their character mm -hmm. and everybody thinks of Chandler Bing. He really right. is like right. that. Which is handy because he keeps working yeah. as Matthew Perry. And it made him a lot of money. We grabbed our shades and headed to Malibu for a taping of Matthew Perry's Go On, a show that sadly didn't last long on TV, but definitely left us with some lasting impressions. Hey, are we making you work too hard here at well, Young Hollywood? I mean, shouldn't you, the interviewer, have to hold the... Well, you are the sportscaster. You should be okay. in the show. You should be quite adept at this at this all point. Right. All right. You look very comfortable. I do? Yes, you holding look right this? at home holding the, the mic fly. Uh, how are you? How are you today? I'm fabulous. I'm doing great. Thank you for inviting us out on set here of your fabulous hit show, Go On. Thank you. Matthew's leading lady, however, very well might have preferred to keep things indoors. This is a nice little set that you have. Yeah, they built it. They built it today. Did they? It's yeah. so lifelike. It's almost like a real beach. Yeah. I would never have known that it was fake. There's a lot of sand. Are you a beach girl? Are you? I'm not really. Really? I'm not much of a... That's why you have good skin. I... <laughs> because you avoid the sun. Yeah, that's my mom says, shun the sun. I hope you didn't, you weren't raised shunning sports because this show no. is so sports centric. Yeah, I'm all, I'm all about some sports. I play some beach volleyball so Do you? Yeah, I'm very bad. Known for its many athlete cameos, this episode features gold medal winning Olympic beach volleyball player, Misty May Trainer, whom we put to the test. So shooting with Matthew, have you seen his volleyball skills yet? I have not seen his volleyball skills yet, but I have a couple um, spies that do play volleyball with him. They said he hasn't been out in a while, but I hear he gets out there and plays. Okay. You know, so I'm excited to see it. Now, are you going to give him some tips? Or are you going to give him some sort of on the court? I don't want to push tips on to him, but if he asks me, like, off camera, hey, what can I do? I'll be I'll be happy to He'll share. There. I'm sure he would be happy to hear <laughs> to hear from you a few tips. I have asked. <laughs> have I you asked? asked? Have you have you begged? Uh, the trouble is when you do on this show that I'm doing yes. called Go On. That's such a hit. That's such a just gigantic hit. We have athletes come on all the time and they're all good. Like they're right. all good actors. Matthew definitely had game, but when it came to beachwear, he had some strict rules. Okay, now I'm a little disappointed that you're not wearing your bikini because all the female volleyball players have, you know, the, the bikini bottoms. Is it ever appropriate for a man to wear a Speedo? No. <laughs> ever? No. Doesn't matter? Even if it's like David Beckham possibly doing a guest star on your show? No. I don't think that that's okay even for him. Really? Yeah. Not even for Beck? No, I don't think so. We blew off some steam with Matthew for a friendly little volley. Okay, ready? Yeah. 
that's good. That's How'd I do? Pretty good. Tips? Yeah. Uh, go talk to Misty May Train. <laughs> Do you know that he wrote on the show? I didn't know that. Yes. He's a really good writer. Did he, by chance, write the volleyball episode? <laughs> That's actually a good point. Yeah, probably, I bet he did. He yeah. probably did. He probably wrote the volleyball episode, yes. the beauty pageant episode, the Miss America episode. <laughs> Missy and Matthew gave us a scoop on the storyline behind this particular episode. He's sort of getting back out into the dating world, and you... I'm one of his friends on Facebook. He comes to one of our training sessions, and I'm introducing him to my volleyball training partners what a nice and friend friends. you are. Misty is is bringing you out to meet some of her friends. Helping me out, yes. We have uh, very carefully negotiated this with the character where, you know, obviously because of what happened to him, he's there's no romantic storylines. Yes. Um, and now we're, you know, episode 10 or 11, and we're just venturing into that territory. As far as Matthew's concerned, when it comes to bringing your A-game to the beach, it's not just about the volleyball. If a girl no, I need to know, hits I... on me at uh, like a hot dog stand. Yes, is that okay with fine. you? That's fine. That works for you. Yeah. Is there any place that doesn't work? Hamburger stand. Hamburger stands are off limits. Yeah. Okay, got it. Call to action, hashtag quiet on the set and send us your Matthew Perry impressions that hopefully will be better than this. <laughs> that was just a confused person. That's just really hashtag weird. Hashtag confused girl. Yes. Yes. And we also want to know, do you guys think there should be a Friends reunion? Hashtag tweet us at quiet on the set. Let us know if you think there should be a Friends reunion. Young Hollywood.